when I first received uh, my Android tablet, one of the first things I wanted to see was can I do some form of web development on this box or on this tablet, excuse me. I sometimes when I'm out on the road I might get a phone call uh, the local developers of one of the clients did something they messed up so I have to pull out my laptop and do all this you know boot it up or and get it all together so with this tablet I have found a nice app in the Google Play Store free of charge it's called Terminal IDE and what it does is it brings you terminal and it gives you some commands that will help you along the way. Uh, one of the first ones is the find command. So it will easily allow me to find different things that are needed and it will let me do my cat commands, my grep commands, uh, things like that. One of the other nice things I like about this device it, or this application is it comes with Vim pre-configured. So Let's go ahead and so as you can see, I mean I'm not this isn't a web tutorial, so I'm not gonna go crazy with that. Uh, we can quickly look at as you can see uh, the only configuration that I did was I just disabled numbers because I'm not a guy that likes to see line numbers but everything else is intact right off the install it has some pre-configurations for Java So it's definitely nice. So the next thing that this app has is Git. Yep, yes, it actually does have a full-blown Git, cl gl yeah, Git client. So it's not like I have to you know go and download in some way or fashion before I leave the house uh, once I get a project set up which this has full git admin I can on the road do my source control now I'm of course not giving this application justice because there are tons and tons of more things to do with this but as I said, it uh, supports syntax highlighting. If you're a command line type guy, uh, it's definitely an application that you will be fine with. I think the biggest thing that I like is the Git integration. So when I'm on the road, I basically can work on code and still do version control. Now the one thing is this does not support subversion so if you are a subversion user or a CVS user uh, this is not gonna support that for you. Uh, you might notice that I'm typing here uh, I'm typing using the Logitech Bluetooth keyboard for Android 
So that's pretty much it of this quick tutorial. I again just wanted to give a brief overview for maybe some developers out there that are looking for an application that will allow them to do some development work on their Android device. Thank you. If you like, please subscribe and comment below. Thank you.